What's up YouTube? Today I'm going to be talking to you guys about how to set your gain for your DRV Audio PSP. Uh, this is one of my mids and highs. I have two 5,000 watt amps and a little smaller DS18 amp on my tweeters. So I'm going to show you guys how to set the gain through your DSP without even touching your amplifier. We're going to set it clean and I'm going to show you two different ways to do it whether your amp has a clip light or not. So stay tuned. Alright YouTube, so this is what I'm running in my doors. I am running two tens. Two Neo 10s and two DS18 tweeters in each door. The two 10s are on the 5Ks and the two tweeters are on the smaller red DS18 amp. So let's get started. I'm going to show you how to set everything cleanly. Alright guys, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to actually go to the gain setting in our DSP. And this is going to be an audio processing. You're just going to tap down one time and you're going to go to the left and go over to the gain setting. Alright, so you have different outputs. Okay, so this is your outputs right here. One, two, three, four. You can have one is 2.8. That's another one that I have, but this is the 2.4 series. So right now I have all three of my channels muted. These are, you know, going to my other stuff. But we're, we're specifically working off of this amplifier today. I have the speakers unhooked so we can set the gains and I can show you guys how to do it. So output four is this passenger side door. These are my two tens. And what you're going to want to have to set this amplifier, if you have a gain or if you have a clip knob, which you can see right here, I have a power clip and a little protect light. So that's going to help us easily set it. It's also right here too. It's going to help us set this gain easy. So this is the first way that you can do it if your amplifiers have a clip, clip indicator. If they don't, I'm going to show you option two in just a second. So let's go ahead and get into this. So first things first, you're going to want to have a thousand hertz test tone playing and you're going to want your radio up about 75 to 80 percent of max volume. So whatever you feel comfortable playing your head, head unit on without distortion and you're going to play that thousand hertz test tone. You can find it right on YouTube and you're going to play that. Make sure you restart it and let's get to it. All right. So what you're going to want to do is once you hit play, you're going to want to have a multimeter up. Have a multimeter and you want to set it right there. So we're going to be reading the output of the speakers. So this is basically where your speaker wire would go and you got the outputs hooked up. So we got that once we have the leads hooked up, we're basically going to be looking for the clip indicator. You don't have to touch the gain. You know, if you already touched it a little bit, that's okay as long as it's not clipping. So we're going to actually do this through the DSP, as you can see. So we're going to go up. And you can see our VAC went up. So this is just the output that's going to the speakers. If you go down, this is going to decrease the VAC. And we want to go all the way up until everything is slightly clipping. Okay, and then once it's done, that's where we're going to set it at. But for myself, you know, these two tens cannot handle 5,000 watts. So we're going to go up to clipping, but I'm not actually going to set it there because I do not want my uh, speakers to blow reset the track right now and it's at 44 and we're just going to go up just a little bit keep going up and then you'll slowly see the VAC climb and we're going to keep going up until we start to see a little bit of clipping and then once we see clipping we're going to stop it right there until there's no more clipping and this thing can go up and see you see it right here it is clipping slightly and that is at 129 VAC at plus 12 so let's go down to plus 11 it's still slightly clipping let's go down to plus 10 and there's no more clipping on the amplifier and it is set at 110 VAC okay and that is at plus 10 and we have not even touched anything on this amplifier that's just what it's reading right now didn't have to touch the gain nothing like that uh, as far as master level I would just leave that about 20 25 percent if you do if you do go up and you click on that it will increase the VAC as well so I would just leave it at that level, okay? So make sure you come back and you reset your track because it's only a one, one minute track. So we're gonna come back and reset that really quickly. Okay, and now that that's playing again, we're gonna come back and look at everything. Okay, and then we're gonna go back to output. And like I said, it's fluctuating a little bit and we wanna make sure this is not clipping at all. So plus 10, we were not clipping at all. So we should be fine. Alright, so that is basically how to set your amplifier clean at, you know, if you do have a clip light. See, it's like slightly clipping every now and then, 
but it's not nothing major. So for myself, being that these speakers cannot handle, you know, 5,000 watts cleanly, I am going to turn this back down a lot, and I'm going to actually go back into the negatives because I don't even want any of that power going towards my uh, doors. So right now I'm seeing 11 VAC, which is not a lot, being that we set it cleanly for over 100. But I don't, I don't love mids and highs screaming in my ears, so I'm gonna have it at negative 10. And obviously, as you can see, there's no clipping out of the amplifier. Everything is just fine. So that is how to set your amplifier cleanly if you do have uh, a clip light. So now option two, this is a little bit trickier, but it's not impossible. So if your amplifier doesn't have a clip light, like this one does not have a clip light at all, it's just a power and protect light. There's two options that you can do. So let's go ahead and get started. Alright guys, so this is the second option right here. What you're going to want to do is this formula right here, and that is going to give you output. So your VAC, which is what we were seeing on the multimeter down here. So option two is, so we're going to take this amplifier, and it's 5,000 watts. And we're technically we're wired at 2 ohms, but uh, we're just going to use the 1 ohm formula. So you're going to do the square root of watts times your ohm load and that's what VAC you're going to want to use. So for me I'm just going to say we're at 1 ohm just uh, for simplicity's sake and we're going to have this at 70 VAC. It's going to give you a ballpark. I know we saw right here that it doesn't clip until about 100 but we're going to set it 70 and that's going to be clean power so you know you're going to get this clean. Okay same thing with 8,000, 1,000 watts you're going to get that set cleanly. Okay, so right now it's 5,000 watt amp. We're gonna set this at 70 VAC and make sure everything's set cleanly. So again, you're gonna want to 1,000 hertz test tone at about 75, 80% of your max volume. And we're gonna try that again. So right now we're seeing 11. And we're gonna try to go all the way up until we hit about 70. So we'll keep going up and right there we're about at 70 plus 6 and there's no clipping on amplifier at all nothing like that going on and that is cleanly at 70 VAC no issues there so that is option 2 it's going to be very conservatively set but that's how you know that your amplifier is no clipping going on no distortion and it is set cleanly and that is the main use for the gain setting. Notice how we have not touched the gain on the amplifier at all. We've not touched it. All we've used is just the RCA coming right here to the output and just use the gain. So you, this is why this is so crucial because you don't even have to touch your amplifier, especially being if it's like set at a weird angle and you can't quite get in there to the gain knob. You can easily do it from your uh, DSP. It's an easy, simple tool. I would highly recommend this, especially if you have a subwoofer amp as well. You can just hook it up to one of the outputs and you can do the same exact thing. Set it cleanly and you should be good to go guys. Uh, this is going to be part one. Next time we're going to do crossovers and go fully in depth in crossovers. See how each one sounds on the different doors and I'm going to go in depth on that and help you set your crossovers cleanly and sound good. So this is part one. This is the gain setting. Uh, I really do hope this helps. If anybody needs some help with it, just let me know in the comments section, and I will try to help you best that I can, guys. So stay tuned for part two.